Pokemon world is full of strong trainers, but the most notable trainers across the various canons are Red, the main protagonist of the Kanto games, and Ash, the main protagonist of the Pokemon anime. In this video, we will be looking at Ash and Red as Pokemon trainers, and then use factual information to determine who would win in a Pokemon battle. Hey everyone, my name is Shiny Zoroark, and I present to you, Ash vs. Red, who would win? Ash Ketchum left Pallet Town at the age of 10, with his partner Pikachu. He journeyed over the various regions, catching many Pokemon along the way. However, he is only able to use 6 Pokemon in this battle, so let's build his team. Of course, Pikachu is going to be on his team. Pikachu has defeated two legendary Pokemon, Regice and Latios, and it also defeated a Mega Lucario, all by itself. Pikachu has been with Ash since the beginning, so it has to be on here because it's one of Ash's most loyal and strongest Pokemon. The second Pokemon on Ash's team is Charizard. Charizard is arguably the most iconic of Ash's Pokemon, even rivaling Pikachu. Ash's Charizard didn't always respect him though. In fact, after it evolved from Charmander, it began to disobey Ash, and nothing changed when it evolved into Charizard. Ash had to gain Charizard's loyalty, and when he did, it became one of his strongest Pokemon. Ash's Sceptile was obtained long after his Charizard. It has defeated countless Pokemon, but most notably, it defeated Tobias's Darkrai. I mean, sure, it did get beaten immediately after that by Tobias's Latios, but it beat Tobias's Darkrai for crying out loud, something that nobody had accomplished before. This Pokemon is a testament to how Ash can turn a weak Pokemon into a beast in battle. Ash's Chimchar used to be Paul's, but since Chimchar was weak and couldn't control its Blaze ability, Paul ended up releasing it. And Ash caught it instead. Ash used his style of Pokemon training to turn Chimchar into an amazing Pokemon. As it battled, it got stronger and eventually evolved into an Infernape. And with a little more training, Infernape learned to control its blaze. During his journey through the Orange Islands, Ash encountered a plethora of Pokemon, ranging from many different types to even an island of entirely pink Pokemon. However, during this time, he only caught a single Pokemon, and that Pokemon is Snorlax. Snorlax is extremely powerful. For starters, it knows six moves. Not even an Alakazam can do that. Its sheer strength is unprecedented, and it might as well be considered Ash's strongest Pokemon, if it weren't for the final one. Of course you saw this one coming. Ash's Greninja is unbelievably strong. It almost defeated a champion's Pokemon. That's a first for the entire anime as a whole. Of course, he did get defeated by Alon's Charizard, however, Alon's Charizard is way overpowered. First of all, it defeated 10 Mega Evolutions without heal, and it also weakened Zygarde enough for capture. The fact that Ash Greninja and Mega Charizard X came so close to tying proves that Greninja is Ash's strongest Pokemon. So that's Ash's team, Pikachu, Charizard, Sceptile, Snorlax, Infernape, and Greninja. Now it's time to decide Red's Pokemon. Canonically, Red's team consists of the Pokemon he has on top of Mount Silver. His latest appearance in Pokemon Sun and Moon also confirms this, meaning Red's team consists of his Pikachu, Charizard, Venusaur, Blastoise, Lapras, and Snorlax. Now, this might anger a lot of you, but we are going off canonic Pokemon here, and while a lot of people think that it's canon that Red has all 150 original Pokemon, it never actually states that anywhere in the games, meaning that those six are the only ones we know about. Just check out Bulbapedia! So, now that we've decided their Pokemon, we need to discuss their abilities as trainers. Starting off with Red, Red's been portrayed as a determined kid and a master of Pokemon in his later years. 
In the generations in which you can fight against him, Red is widely known as the toughest trainer in the entire game. As Red doesn't really say much at all, we can't really go into detail of his personality. However, from what we do know, Red is an amazing trainer. Contrary to Red, Ash has loads of character and personality. Throughout the entirety of the Pokemon anime, you see the development of Ash from a dim-witted, stubborn, and amateur trainer to a confident, smart, determined, and, um, he's still 10. But that's besides the point. Despite his young age, Ash is a very competent trainer, having gotten 8 gym badges from all 6 of the known regions that have Pokemon gyms, coming in at a grand total of 48 badges. He also has competed in 6 Pokemon League tournaments, and each time he improved his overall placing. Ash Ketchum is another amazing Pokemon trainer, who is equipped to battle the best of the best. And that takes us to the last segment before we decide who is the best. We must look at their accomplishments. Red lost to his rival once, it never happened again. Taught the leader of Team Rocket the meaning of Pokemon battling, causing him to disband Team Rocket. Became the champion of a region, left the train on top of a cold mountain, was invited to take part in a world tournament of the best Pokemon trainers, asked to be the boss of the battle tree in the Alola region, achieved Mega Evolution with all three of his fully evolved Kanto starters, and he probably caught 150 Pokemon. Ash wins against his rivals when it matters, saved the world like a million times, befriended or defeated a plethora of legendary Pokemon, constantly tries to improve or add to his strategies, achieved a different type of synergy with his Greninja, he was asked to become a frontier brain for the Kanto Battle Frontier, made it to the quarterfinals in three Pokemon leagues, the semifinals in one and the finals in another, placed top eight or higher in a handful of other Pokemon competitions, and finally, Ash has been seen to have at least 80 total Pokemon registered to his Pokedex. It is time. Who is the best Pokemon trainer? Red or Ash? Drum roll please. The best Pokemon trainer between Ash and Red is... Um... Actually, I don't know. There should be a clear-cut winner for this, and most people would say Red. However, if I were to give you an answer, it would be totally biased. While we do have the information here that says many things about both trainers, I can't come to a decision. If I were to give you my biased answer, I would say Ash would win. Ash, while he hasn't made any big Pokemon League wins like Red, has the personality and the ability to do the unthinkable. However, I can see why people would think Red should win too. Red is an extremely tough trainer, and he has the skills to beat anyone he wants. He's just that powerful. This is why I am leaving the winner up to you, the viewers. Is Ash the strongest, or is Red the better trainer? Thank you all so much for watching this video! Believe it or not, this video took months for me to complete. I originally had it planned for the beginning of March, and obviously as you can see that didn't happen. However, I am really glad that I was able to finally get this video out for you all. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like, and if you want to see other videos like this one, definitely subscribe and hit the little bell icon as well. Once again, leave me a comment telling me who you think should have won. And finally, make sure you follow me on Twitter so you can keep up with me as I do tweet about the progress of videos, the status of my channel, and also you'll see a lot of community interaction from me. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Once again, thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video, and I will see you all next time.